have to tell you, so far the message I picked up is has to do with watching, okay? Um, and maybe even a realization that this connection is extremely special. This is what someone is coming to the conclusion of while well, watching this. There's some sort of happiness that just comes naturally from this connection. It's quite innocent. Um, so anyhow, let's just see what's coming up. We're going to start with the lover's deck actually, and then use whatever I feel guided to use. Okay, this is the first card coming out. Oh my gosh, a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feeling for you than they are letting on. And this is exactly what I'm getting. I do personally feel as though you know this person, but I feel like this person is coming to a realization that this connection is much, much deeper than they had given it credit for, okay? And there's some sort of happiness and realization um, that this connection is special, okay? So let's see what else we have coming out here. And I'm going to get right into this, okay? So freedom, there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. This person could have just been waiting for the right opportunity. Um, I do feel that they are realizing this once again. I know it's repetitive, right? And here we have time. So I do feel that you've been dealing with someone that may have even separated themselves from you. Um, let's see if we can get any message on that because I do kind of pick that up. So maybe you guys had a very intimate connection. Um, you found the missing pieces, but I feel like this person may have freed themselves from the situation and taken time to try to figure this out. I do now feel that if this person was tied down to any beliefs that were not um, allowing them to move forward, I do feel that they are realizing that the missing connection is actually this connection. This is the missing piece to the puzzle, okay? Let's see what else we get. Let's get one more here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. I feel like this person was trying to be controlling. I want to get one more card to clarify that. Um, but anyhow, now I feel that like this person is accepting the connection here. Let's see what's coming out here. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. This person is finally realizing um, to just accept it, you know, and that they're not losing their freedom by following their heart. I think that may be an issue here. Okay, so let's get some oracles and see what's happening. Triumph and success. Well, triumphant success. Wow. After a heartache, because that was on the floor. So I feel that this is a situation that was probably ended at some point, um, not moving forward. You know what I mean? Sorry, let's fix that. Um, I do feel that there was heartache. I feel like this person left, ghosted, disappeared, because literally the triumphant success cards shows someone coming back, most likely from the dead, right? Look at that. After heartache, after this person maybe left you in heartache. And this person is coming forward now. They've realized the truth. They've realized what they were moving on from, what they were running from. Um, you know, it only hurt them. They realized their truth. Okay. So let's see what else we have coming out here for this. Trapped in fear and material harvest here. I do feel that this person was very money motivated, really trying to disconnect from this truth that was buried deep inside of them. This seed has been germinating and growing ever since they met you, no matter what they did, no matter how far they ran. This is a sacred union, okay? Look at no matter how far they tried to go. They couldn't disconnect from the way you made them feel. And that's one of the most important things, you know. Um, a great philosopher, I mean, she's more than a philosopher. I'm sorry, I can't give you her name right now. But she said, you know, people don't remember what you say. They remember how you made them feel. And I feel that this person may have tried to run and run and run. But they could not deny the truth, which is that they feel 
this very special connection with you. Okay, look at emotional loss just came in reverse because there is no emotional loss here. They may have been playing victim or thought that they were a victim of some sort. Um, they were truly trying to deny the connection because the third eye chakra is also in the reverse there. But I feel like, you know, this is something you can't deny. You can only deny for so long, right? Only can deny for so long before it really just comes in your face here. Look at that. The waiting game turns in to light and hope and wishes and dreams and clarity and just beautifulness. This person was really trying to avoid this connection and somehow, some way, this person walked into a big brick wall and guess what that brick wall was? It was their shadow self. It was them having to face the fact of what they were doing. Okay. So let's get into some tarot here to see what's coming so we have the moon card let's just get a few cards first oh my gosh the lovers oh my gosh okay guys so what this is telling me with the ten of swords for me that is sometimes stronger than the death card five of cups i just picked up in the reverse um however doesn't matter this five of cups all the cups are down and i'm seeing the ace of cups here Listen, this person has a fear of love. It's real simple. And I'll tell you exactly why. I'm not sure what happened, but this person has lost someone that they really loved. It was devastating. It turned their whole world upside down. It altered their thoughts um, when it comes to love. That's why they've been secretive. Hmm. Let's get more into that see what else happened oh wow these cards just all flipped over so what i get is this person honest to god had a crazy love situation um i'm not seeing it's a childhood issue anymore how it may be but i see this person king of wands the devil and the devil here is showing like a lot of passion a lot of intimacy and then the ace of wands is showing that passionate person alone running loops on their own, doing their own thing here. I'm also seeing the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups stick out. So let me just take a minute here. And this card also came, I don't know why I'm holding it still. So what I get is this person has been in love before. This person has loved very deeply. Unfortunately, one little thing I'm getting is that this person may have not had a real love. It was a very deep, passionate love, a very sexual connection. Um, and they stayed loyal to this connection, but they were left. It could be because they were more focused on money, Um Whatever it is, I even feel that it may have had them motivated to just focus on money after that. But this person has lo lost a love. And that affected them. That turned their beliefs of love upside down. The Empress, you know, so I feel like when this person knew you or met you or whatever happened there, look at it. Whoa, okay. The King of Cups. I feel like right away this person felt a connection. I think you guys were destined and meant to be like that type of connection. Like this is perfect. This person is perfect. But guess what? Your person didn't have any self-love and you had a whole lot or a whole lot of confidence. And therefore I feel like this person put up their block, put on a fake show because they were worried. They were just worried about an ending before it even began. So what does this person want you to know? They definitely want you to know something. Um, it could be that they're watching you. It could be that they they know you're the one. This the high priestess coming out there. This person thinks you're so special. This person is so sorry for walking away from you and giving their energy to another. Uh, what this person truly wanted or wants, I should say, is actually family, true love, true happiness. Um, 
So why did you walk away? Look at the nine of swords crossed it, literally like a cross. It's just those bad memories that this person cannot forget about at this time or couldn't. And it's also just easier for this person to focus on finances and wear this mask, acting like everything is okay. This person is apologizing for being so conflicting. I'm hearing C words, counter, counter, like counter supportive or counter something like they didn't do what was good. Instead, they hurt you with this, right? This person gives themselves things to worry about so they don't have to focus on what they want. Look at that. Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. Yeah. I mean, you may not know it, but this person could be somewhat grouchy. <laughs> you might know it. Why is this person so grouchy? Why are they so angry? Angry is the word, actually. Five of Wands. Well, what I am getting is this person is a fighter for for being successful, for looking a certain way. But I think it's a burden on them, to be honest. It's burdensome trying so hard to make things seem perfect. That's why they're grouchy. Because they're always putting on a show to make it look like it's easy to be working all the time or whatever it may be to be successful. And now they're seeing you. They're watching you and they're realizing you're the source of happiness for them. Or you're like a huge source of happiness for them. Let's get into a different. I think this person also felt, for whatever reason, that they weren't good enough for you. Two of Wands energy. They probably felt like you could have happiness anywhere. I think your patience also threw this person off. Why? That's interesting. Because you gave this person time to figure out the master here and transformation to figure out their, like, I don't know if you gave this person that, but your patience and maybe even your silence and your awareness of what was happening, you held space for this person to go through their own transformation. And this may be why they look at you with such admiration now. Like, wow. Hmm. The healing energy. This is the King of Cups and the lovers. I'll tell you, you gave this person a chance to see what they had right in front of them. What's going to happen here? Let's get that because I wonder if you're, you know, still here. <laughs> I wonder if you're still wanting this ordinariness. And that's the message I was getting in the inner voice is that your love is so peaceful. Look at here it is, that innocent love, that sun card and the moon below it. You guys are very special. You really made this person aware of their dark side and that they do deserve to have everything they want with along with their abundance and that they don't have to work so hard for it, that that is all an illusion, that having fun will be more productive for them, will bring more happiness to them. You know, and that there's so much more than just material possession. This person also sees like they may want to slow down with you now. They may want to have an opportunity to come in your life. Um, I feel like for a lot of you watching, you're actually quite ordinary, I guess we could say, but just happy with I'm getting the mundane things in life. Like you're just happy, but I don't want to call it mundane. I don't know why that word came, um, but you're happy with actually like having a routine and having a schedule, even if it's just you, even if you're just working with the universe, working with nature, you know, in the springtime, we do the gardening in the fall time. We do the organizing, like you're happy with this. You follow your instincts. You follow your knowing and I think this person is really realizing how simply lovely you are. 
this is going to sound weird. You may be dealing with someone that has molds on their body. Okay. <laughs> like It's not something I want to point out, but I'm seeing this. And this happens with age sometimes, right? So you may be dealing with someone who's older. It doesn't always happen with age. I know young people have them too. So what I get will happen with this is after some time of maybe suppression or maybe fighting against this, fighting against, you know, this truth, this person's going to come to an understanding and I feel like this person is going to come in. I feel like they're going to be quite intense. I also feel like they're no longer going to be judging themselves is what I get here. Uh, no longer clinging to the past. And realizing that they can create happiness. They can create change. So will you be together? <laughs> is what I really want to know. Look at it. So this person has to take that jump. It's only this person by themselves, by the way. I'm not really seeing third party energy here. Maybe they left one or whatever. I'm just seeing someone who's afraid to come forward to such a huge, intense love. This, if you're dealing with the King of Swords energy, I think that came up, maybe. I don't remember. But they're going to be realizing something. It's like cock-a-doodle-doo. Like the, the rooster is going to 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 ring the alarm. And this person is going to realize it's time to go with the flow and give it a chance and let go. The only option this person has, there's no hanging on anymore. You can't hang on with your feet and you can't hang on with your hands. Once one drops, it all drops. So it's best to just do it on your own and be proud of dropping, you know? Like I did that. Not I was forced to do that. I did that. I jumped. Oh my gosh, look at <laughs> Like, this is interesting. It's it's about totality. Um, it's interesting. It's similar to this card. But the message I get is that this person will be breaking free. In fact, for some, this person has tried to break free and had someone hanging on to their feet, whether that be a fear, someone from their past, or whatever it may be. But this is actually the card for me of this person's about to drop. <laughs> It's beautiful, actually. That's why I'm like giggling about it. It's going to happen, right? They're... So what I think was holding this person back is conditioning. It could be worldly conditioning, but really what it's talking about um, is this person, first of all, deserves more than they thought. Or is like they're more powerful than they thought. They were conditioned. Something was trying to tie them down. Some old beliefs. And that's being released. That is being released. This is not the world card, but it does resemble the world and it has a many people around it. And there's a new world out there is what I'm getting. Like there's people that or energies that are pushing this person to break free. You don't have to be in those old restrictions. And you know what? I picked up the childhood message. Like obviously, no matter what, one way or another, it does come down to childhood. Even if someone left this person and it broke their heart, I still feel like this person didn't really have a sense of what a good, healthy, true love is. Okay. I wanted to ask what, you know, that past situation was about. We have the Empress in reverse. Um, wow. Wow. So I wanted to ask, like, you know, and no, this person, this was not a good love. Uh, like, it was not a good example of love. The empress in the reverse, the creative person in the reverse, or a creator energy in the reverse, is about controlling, secretive, it's deceptive. And I see that your person was trapped, thinking that this little box they were in was all that's available to them they thought they were living the dream meanwhile what i get is your person was actually involved in a friendship and they confused it with a love ship i think that this empress did not really have an honest um desire for your person as much as they desired them okay and I feel that your person almost felt like they could change that. You can't make someone love you. 
And the way that this person, this is interesting. This is getting interesting. The way this person um, tried to change their ex or this empress in reverse was by giving them money, maybe even by marrying them, maybe even taking them out of a shitty situation. They gave this person a lot. And part of the lesson here was, wow, seriously, wow, is to have a rebirth, to break free, 10 of swords, tower cards, suppression, 10 of wands, to break free and break out. This was a conditioned situation. This person was conditioned to believe, I'm seeing a camel. It's like ride the camel's back or some, or hump or something. I don't know. I don't know what those sayings are about. But this person was meant to learn that they don't need to go outside. Actually, they have happiness within them. They just have to see it. And they were able to see that actually you're a source of their happiness as well. So moving forward, we have the Queen of Swords here. This is about an ending. There could be an ending to a past situation that Friendship is what I'm getting here. It was just a friendship. Could be a leaving. It's, it is literally saying, look at letting go. It's literally telling you. I don't know why. I feel like it wasn't talking about a third party at all. Maybe this has already happened. But this person has let go of the conditioning, Ten of Swords, the mortality, Queen of Swords, done. And letting go, Eight of Cups. Wow, this person has gone through a lot, okay? And it looks like they're going to start trusting in the process. Look at here they are. They freed themselves. They're freeing themselves of fear of the past, fear of being alone, fear of sorrow. And they're realizing back to the card I ever first got the message from, the source. They're seeing, watching, knowing that this connection is a very huge part of their happiness. I know it may sound like, you know, you can't depend on someone else for being your happiness or whatever, whatever. I don't know. I don't care about all those technicalities. This person is realizing and seeing that you are a huge source of their happiness card at the top projection. You've shown this person a lot. You've had a huge connection with this person. You've both had ups and downs. Maybe at one point you were projecting your fears and now you will be projecting wishes. You will be projecting happiness, health, love, queen of cups. Okay, guys. So I really appreciate you. Let's get one more card here. One more. Ooh. Give the relationship a chance. And this is exactly what this person is going to be doing. This is exactly what this person is going to be doing. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye for now.